अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन वेल ठीक है मैंने क्या किया इसको थोड़ा विजुलाइज करने की कोशिश की है लेट अस सी दैट थिंग ओवर हियर ओके फर्स्ट आई टू पे अटेंशन ऑन व्हाट इज शोन इन द फिगर ओके सो दीस आर द टू एजेस लेट मी काउंट दिस एज ए बी एंड सी मतलब ये ये दो कार्ड्स हैं हम जो लगा रहे हैं दिस इज योर पॉइंट ए दिस इज योर पॉइंट बी एंड दिस इज योर पॉइंट सी हम इन तीनों वर्टेक्सेस के अलावा वी आर कटिंग दिस थिंग टू अ प्लेन दिस इज हाउ यू कट इट Now what is evident while you cut this one? The evident is one, two, and three, four and five. These are the cubes that are surely going to be cut, which is seen from outside. Okay. So as you cut this one, as you cut this one, you're hundred percent sure that from outside, outside, these five cubes will get cut. Did you all understand this? Did you all understand what five I mentioned? So this one is getting cut. Same. This one is getting cut. This one is getting cut. Okay, this one is the same. So this is another one which will get cut, and this is another one which will get cut. So like which there are five cubes from outside. We can see that they are definitely getting cut. Okay, and the plane will look something like this. You see this image? It will look something like this. Okay, and now you see inner. Suppose I have taken an X-ray of this thing. So how it will look? It will look something like this. Okay. Now why I am showing you this? You can always argue with me that uh, all these things are not available to us during the exam. But this will give us some evidence of what has what is happening inside. Okay, and this is what visualization is all about. Had it been a very easy question, we'll never come in YouTube exam. Okay, so if I take just an X-ray of this thing, it will look some, something like this. Do you see this plain surface? And that is what they are asking: how many cubes will get cut from inside? And from here, if we see, there are. And now you can count. What I've done is I have separated the 27 cubes in such a way that you can understand where the cut can be. Okay, so this is one. Okay, this is two. This is three. This is four, and this is five. These five were evident that we have already seen. Okay, inside, if you see. Just below the first one, there will be a sixth one over here. Can you all understand this one? So this is the sixth one. Okay, and just below, I mean, just adjacent to it, there is a seventh one. You see, this is the seventh. One. This is the seventh. One. Okay, then there are two cubes just below it, which we which is not shown over here. Some part of it is only shown over here. So the so eighth one will be just below the seventh one, which means this one. Okay, this one is eighth one, and there will be another just beside the third. Just above, above it. This video is not evident over here. This is seen over here. The total there will be nine. So five are evident on the outer thing, and four you will get from inside. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So that will make you nine cubes. There are nine cubes in all that will get cut. Is that okay? So this was the this was how visualization you can do. But this question can be solved mathematically also. How you will solve it mathematically? Tell me. When you are cutting this to the plane as it is shown over here. What portion of the whole cube will get cut? Tell me. What portion of the whole cube will come out if you cut it the way that is shown over here? Can I call this portion is just one third of the whole cube? Tell me. Yes, sir. Vol volume wise, also it will be one third of the whole. And total, how many cubes are there in this formation? There are twenty-seven cubes were there. So one third of twenty-seven will how much? It will be nine. That is also the mathematical solution. Of it. But this question should always be visualized and also be solved. I mean, you cannot just simply mathematically solve it. You have to visualize the thing and then also you have to solve it. Okay. So both ways are to uh, this question, and answer is coming at nine. Okay. Let's move.